You mentioned Arsene Wenger and Pep Guardiola there. I've got to ask you, <laughs> did they, during your career, give you any advice which you've taken with you post-career? They didn't have to, honestly. Their body language talked by itself. Uh, I'm going to talk about Arsene Wenger, the way he is with people, the way he respects people, the way he acted with us was just so human and he respected us a lot. He used to enter the dressing room at training ground every single day and go and shake everyone's hand. You know, this is not in a country in England. People come and just say, hey, good morning. But he used to come, shake our hands, and we used to, you know, we were like sitting with hot, hot chocolate, talking about everything, laughing, and he used to stand and, and sit sometimes. So at first we were like, oh, the coach is here, hiding a bit. And then he used to participate to the chat with us, and he was like our dad. And on the other side, Pep Guardiola to me is the reference as a coach because you need to be very disciplined. You need to understand it's not only on the pitch, it's the whole life you need to adopt. It's not only today, it's about the nutrition you're going to have all week. As an example, if you're one kilogram ahead of your weight of home, you're out of the team, you don't train. He came to the Man City and he cut the Wi-Fi in the dressing room. So you become like uh, like a child. At first, it's upsetting because you're thinking, you oh, know, I'm not a child. I'm 30 years old, you know. I don't need to go through all those rules. But then you understand why they won the treble last year. Because everyone is kind of disciplined and everyone has the right mindset. And if you don't have the right mindset in sports, you might shine one year, two years. But after a while, you'll be gone because to stay at a high level is very difficult for a long time. Every year, you have to withdraw what you did and start from the scratch because you can play 99 games perfectly. If you make one mistake, you come out the next day on the street and everyone is looking at you in a funny way. So it's difficult. It's difficult because three days later, you have to focus again and you have to perform. And if you make another mistake, you're going to come and sit on the bench and then your whole career is into perspective. So you need to stay focused, but you have way of doing it. And this is what we will try to teach to the kids. You know, social media is a big part, but you need to be also aware that social media is having and gonna have an impact into your career. When you're shining, it's nice. You wanna show off, you wanna take pictures, but you have to be ready to take the stick if you make a mistake, because from the minute you start sharing, your life belongs to people. So all of those signs we need to teach the kids because there is a way of teaching kids and make them aware.